Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. Finally, we are here to talk about the Ryzen 7 5700G. This is a build that might be a savior for some, pero still, there are more potential users why they should consider this kind of setup. Unang-una, users that want to avoid this overpriced video card. Pangalawa, users with a tight budget pero dream to have a PC build that is close to those Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 processor performance. Ang kadalasang nangyari dito, parts by parts nilang ina-avail yung mga PC components. Problem is na i-stack yung parts. Now at least you have the chance to use your parts if in case na kompleto mo na halos lahat except for the video card. Dahil kadalasan naman sa mga mainstream PC builds, yung video card is almost half the price of the whole system unit. Kaya if in case yung budget mo is halfway na, most likely na buo mo na rin lahat ng PC components except for the video card. Pangatlo, these are the users who needs to have that kind of mainstream processor pero they don't need to have that kind of powerful video card. Especially into production na Photoshop lang naman kadalasan yung panggagamitan or users who needs a processor for a heavy multitasking na hindi kaya ng i3 or Ryzen 3 processor. Now with that being said, let's talk about this PC build, why that is the case, bakit ito yung motherboard, and bakit yan yung RAM. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro, and by using our promo code, Ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Hindi na natin patatagalin while I'm doing the assembly. Didiscuss ko na sa inyo kung bakit ito yung mga components na ginamit natin. Unang-una is of course the chassis. Bakit blue yung chassis na ginamit natin? Well, that's kind of personal choice. For you guys to have at least different kind of a setup on the table Para maiba naman, hindi laging black, hindi laging white Pero uh, to inform you guys, meron din pong black variant neto at saka white variant Another thing is, uh, pinili din po natin yung mas minimalist na design Because, uh, ayun ya, that is something opposite kung ano yung mga nire-recommend ko Pero as I always say on this channel, we have different taste And uh, sometimes, having this kind of setup will also give us uh, choices kung ano yung pipiliin natin. Basta we should always consider that that kind of chassis comes with uh, at least pathways na kahit restricted, there is still pathway for the intake. And makikita nyo po yan sa both side ng front panel. Another thing kung bakit ito rin yung pinili kong chassis, because this is a solid uh, metal uh, chassis, lahat po ng components niya, wala pong plastic na ginamit. And then uh, yung price niya is uh, quite uh, on point para sa isang APU PC build for a price of 2,500 more or less. For more reason, we will discuss that later. Now, since ito yung ginamit nating chassis, restricted yung kanyang airflow, we need to neutralize that part by adding a third-party cooler and that is also the Deepcool AS500. White po yung kanyang color scheme. Malalaman nyo mamaya kung bakit white yung ginamit natin na CPU cooler out of this blue na major or base color ng ating PC build. Pangatlo is the RAM. It is the Nighthawk. Pero I've also introduced in here another RAM na itong T-Crate that is uh, designed for those uh, content creators who don't need to have that uh, very low latency at the same time they doesn't need to have that uh, very high frequency RAM also. Especially that the major reason why they need to have a RAM is because of the capacity. Yan po yung dahilan kung bakit mayroong mga minamanufacture ang mga brands na mga RAMs that are just designated for content creators with a bit uh, lower price compared sa mga uh, gaming RAMs na meron po tayo. And then lastly is the motherboard. We use here the ASRock B550M Pro 4. This is a budget motherboard but comes with good or beefy heatsink to support the VRM especially for uh, processors like this na APU. If you notice, medyo budget po yung mga components na ginamit natin. That is because yung target market po ng ating uh, 5700G or why APU processors are manufactured is to serve those consumers who are not uh, really looking for something that is uh, so affordable or so cheap pero they want that everything is worth it 
in terms of price to performance ratio. Now with that being said about the components na ginamit po natin for this PC build, let's talk about now the outcome. So kung mapapansin nyo po dito sa ating aesthetics, nag-blend po yung component natin sa loob with the base color ng ating chassis. The way to do that is to add a LED strip, then set it to blue. So yun yung pinakamagandang move since wala namang masyadong components na yung kanilang kulay is uh, blue or uh, red. Bibihira po po yung mga ganong components nowadays. Most of the uh, parts nowadays are either white or either black. So ang pinaka the best na gagawin mo dito is to choose white components then let that LED strip do the lighting para mag-reflect yung kulay na gusto mo sa mga component na ginamit mo sa loob. Actually, it's even better if you will choose the white variant of this chassis. Mas makakapamili ka kung ano yung mood na gusto mo. If you want red today, then you may settle with red lightings. Everything will reflect with the red color. Kung gusto mo ng green, can just shift to green. Now, let's move on sa ating benchmark. If you want to know about the overclocking capability ng ating uh, Ryzen 7 5700G, you may check our previous video. Nilink ko po yan sa ating description. That will be the same also with the initial review ng ating 5700G compared to 5600X. But yet, since you ask me that I need to have the apples to apples comparison, then here it is. 5800X Ryzen 7 versus 5700G Ryzen 7. How far is the difference? And sobrang layo. 5700G is way inferior sa kanyang counterpart as I have said sa ating previous video. And it is closely on par sa 5600X. 5600X is still the better processor with a video card pagdating sa gaming. Pero pagdating naman sa production, 5700G Having that multi-core performance is still the better processor over 5600. Pero even the same core count as the 5800X, that 5800X is a dedicated processor, not an APU variant. There's no integrated graphics with it. At the same time, it comes with better specification like cache. It comes with better numbers on paper. Then, there you have 5800X except with the PCIe Gen 4 support. 5700G is really inferior from gaming to production. Pero, syempre, if you want to have a 5800X, you need to have a video card. If you want 5800X, you need to spend more. That is 5K to the 7K difference. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, you paid for what you gain. Yan po yung 5800X over 5700G. If you will settle down with 5600X or 5800X, you don't have any choice. Even you will set, even you will buy the cheapest video card, still that video card is way higher compared sa hindi pandemic. And uh, this is the savior that we may have. And that is a good move, especially for consumers who are also into a budget. Nowadays, kahit yung mga mayayaman, conservative na rin sila pagdating sa expenses nila. Especially for uh, components or gadgets. And those are just uh, some of the reasons why 5700G is one of the most relevant processors as of this time na pandemic. Now that you have the whole preview from that initial review na ginawa natin a few weeks ago, at the same time that overclocking capability of this processor, and now the whole PC build na meron po tayo, it's up to you guys to decide. So if uh, there are things that you think I miss with this video, you may check the two previous videos na in-upload po natin. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And yes, keep posted sa ating next video dahil i-announce po natin dun ang winner sa ating PC Case Giveaway.